Welcome back to 75 gallon mixed reef aquarium and in this video I will be talking about the flow and so right now on the screen we are seeing no flow and so two things you want to keep an eye on as we move through this video is one uh, the water surface so right now the only flow is the return pump and I'll leave uh, more information in the description about, I guess, the three layers of flow that I have between five different pumps. So right now it's just simply uh, the Tunzi DC controllable. Uh, there's only one of them at the moment that allows for um, variable speed. And so there's one pump down in the sump and two exit nozzles, one on the left, one on the right. Um, they come out the middle overflow box and, and wrap around towards the sides. And so that's, if you will, uh, phase or level one of my flow um, in this uh, mixed reef tank. So level two, you'll see in just a few minutes and then level three and once we get to level three or phase three keep an eye on the lower left hand corner where you look at the um, red gonopora or flower pot and so once i turn on phase three um, that really loves the flow and those are the two different ways to kind of get a sense of how the flow changes. Quick shot of the green possible pour. Um, this is a new one. I unfortunately allowed the um, wild bubble coral to sting uh, the existing one. So, and those green mushrooms have been taken off. All right, so in this part of the video, we are looking at pretty much uh, level two or phase two of the flow. And so you have the return pump and the two Tunzi wave boxes. I believe it's 6208. And I do have two of them. Um, one is on the left side of the overflow and the other one's on the right side. Uh, there's a couple of accessories that I purchased for them. Um, I took off the, the strainer top. Um, you can have it completely closed and then there's a accessory where it allows for surface skimming. Um, periodically I'll put it back on, but for the most part it seems to run really well without it. Inside both of these uh, wave boxes are um, DC controllable um, 6055. Um, also by Tunzi and so from there you can see how the green Singulera is moving around and also how the surface water agitation and that dancing swaying motion from side to side so usually I run this during the photo period and the um, the corals seem to love it. They fully extend, they get all puffy, and um, the fish, not so much. Um, the fish, I think, like more current, um, but I do just keep it random. And for the most part, during my, uh, I believe it's a nine and a half hour photo period, um, I'm usually running the flow in the middle at phase two, I guess level two. Um, notice the lower left hand corner, the flower pot, the red flower pot, how it's moving, but it's not too chaotic. Um, the wave boxes um, definitely deliver random flow. And we'll take a closer look at another pool. So here, it's a close up of the left hand side. I'm a big fan of the Florida Recordia, and there's a yellow hammer. Originally had two heads on that. 
in um, when I went through transitioning off the of Nopox, I lost a head in this core along with several other ones. Um, and then there's a new red core in the back. And I think it's a branching Sebastria, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I believe that's what it is. And then there's the rock of um, Zoas to the far right um, that I pulled off. So we'll go back to the wide shot. So here we are. This is wide shot of the tank and what we'll call like phase three or level three of my flow. This is everything on. So we have obviously the return pump, the wave boxes are still moving, water, and then in the back also are two 6095s by Tunzi, which are also DC controllable. And they are very uh, wide flow and very strong pumps. Um, and so my idea with this setup, which is my first uh, reef tank ever, my idea here is to not really have to buy any equipment when I upgrade um, to a larger tank. Um, and so looking at this flow, um, the 6095s, they pulse on and then, um, and I'm running, I believe about 35%. So I'm not using a lot of the, the energy or the power behind these pumps, but just at 35% in the 75 gallon, having two of them, one on the left, one on the right, and back of the rock structure. Um, and you can see right there, lower left hand corner, the red flower pot, how it's fully extended. It really loves the flow. Um, it's not like a constant directional flow. Um, so what happens is the water shoots up the back and then comes around that corner and then comes down and flows towards the center. And here's another close up of the left hand side. Duncan, my uh, tester SPS corals. I need to get a par reading on this tank. Um, so I um, connected with a really cool uh, vendor who's basically has offered um, tester SPS coils. Here is the side shot from the right hand side of the tank. And shout out to Rico for helping me with the yellow tang. And this is the Pulse Xania that I bought from Tidal Gardens. Um, and the yellow polyps and the green star is also from Tidal Gardens. We're back on the left hand side, close up of the red flower pot. And you can see how the flow is just kind of rocking back and forth. So this will be kind of level two or phase two, just the wave boxes. And you see how everything is just uh, kind of dancing back and forth. And again, I love the um, orange uh, Recordia Florida. So there's, I think there's about seven of them maybe more than that in the tank. And then the green mushrooms, um, the green zoas, <clears throat> and then the uh, orange bambans are uh, in that area also. And I believe that Duncan is from, actually from Petco, before the merger um, with Dr. Foster and Smith. So here's a close-up of the center of the tank. We have the wild bubble core and the um, purple tip green hammer, the leather coral, added a new zoa in the middle and another tester, I believe it's a bird's nest variety in the center. I'm not sure how much par I'm getting in this area. So again, I need to Take some time to do a, like a par video to get a sense of what par. I did add a fourth Kessel up above. Um, and so, uh, yeah, they're basically running at 50%, peak at 55. Um, actually, they may peak at 60 um, and then come back down a little bit. Um, and then there's a big colony of the Bam Bam Zoas and the green meteor shower. I added a second meteor shower 
I'll do a video on that.